I'm Dr. Katie Bramlett and in this video I'm going to show you how to shape cane for an oboe reed. So I have some cane with me here that I have already sorted and guillotined and gouged and at this point now um, it has been soaking for at least an hour and you want to make sure that your cane has been soaking for at least that long before you try to fold it and then shape it. So um, here I have my shaper and um, to get the cane to fit between the ears here of the shaper, you're going to want to narrow the cane a little bit. Um, you can do that with just a razor blade um, very carefully. Um, one way is to fold the cane in half carefully, folding it right in half, and then you want to crease it without squeezing it so hard that it cracks. But if it does happen to crack at this stage, just let it go, it was never meant to be a reed anyway. Um, so here I have my cane folded. And then what I'm gonna do is take a fresh razor blade and I'm going to very carefully, without slicing my fingertips, um, take just the tiniest bit of cane away from each side so that it's a little bit narrower to fit into the shaper. So, right in here. And luckily we're working with the grain of the cane here, so um, it should cut away pretty easily, especially if you've got a nice uh, fresh razor blade and you wanna have one here. So you can see I'm taking just the very slightest bit off of each side. And here's a piece very tiny bit. Um, at this point now, the cane should be narrow enough to fit between the ears of the shaper. Okay. And then you want to make sure that it's centered. So fold it with one hand and then bring up the jaws of the shaper with the other hand. Flip it over, look at both sides, make sure that those jaws of the shaper handle are centered on both blades of cane. Then you really want to crank it down, tighten it as much as you can, because you don't want it moving around as you're shaping it, because then you wouldn't have the shape that you want. Okay, so now I've got my cane centered on the shaper. Then I'm going to take that fresh blade that I have and with one hand anchor the shaper to a tabletop, some sturdy surface. Here I've got a post-it note just to protect the surface of the table. And take the razor blade and keep it as vertical as you can and keep the pressure as consistent as possible as you cut away um, that excess cane away from the shape. So first center the blade and cut away from both edges of cane. Then what you're going to do is um, tilt the blade slightly and take off any excess from one side, tilt the blade slightly the other way and take any excess off that side. So I'm going to do that now. Tilting it the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to feel with my fingertips to make sure I don't feel any cane snags or any roughness. You want this to be totally smooth at this point. So I've gotten this side done. Now I'm going to do this side. Try and get to the table blade as st steady as possible, even pressure, tilt to take the excess from one blade, tilt the other way, take the excess from the other blade. Feel the fingertips, feels nice and smooth. So now you can see that the cane is the shape that we want. Loosen up, you can use a, a, a dish towel or something for this. I'm not wearing a fancy shirt, so I don't mind using my shirt. Loosen it up. Pull the jaws down, and now you can see we've got cane that looks a little bit closer to what an oboe reed looks like. So give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you later.